Here's what you missed this month on the Gifted Sounds Network. Music Bay Podcast. I was listening to uh, Linkin Park, and that was like the first band I've ever listened to. That was the first band I was ever introduced to, actually. And I heard how aggressive they were playing. I'm like, oh, shit. I'm going to be able to play that shit. And now we fast forward 10 years later, like, I can play that shit now. I like to think that I graduated and leveled up with each song that I've played over the years now. But one of my, my friends, uh, he brought his friend over, and he's fucking awesome. And I figured, okay, you know what, I want to be able to, like, match his level of skill, because he can play, like, practically every event sevenfold song there is. So I'm like, okay, I have a goal. Pretty much every song that I've been playing has been leading me up to, like, that one moment. Bantu centric. This show is about taking risks. Yo, welcome to the last episode of Bantu Centric. Yo, Cheyenne has been Nah, arrested. I'm gonna keep doing this show. <laughs> <laughs> this is gonna be you by yourself for an hour ranting. No, I was gonna dip it up. <laughs> oh, is that how you my, feel? My co-host, as always, <laughs> Anita Jones. <laughs> like, like what? <laughs> As always, like, you mean as of today? Like, what, what? <laughs> it's, it's always been a needed job. And she's what just gonna be like, about? we're a couple of black people, you know? Yeah. <laughs> Talk about Anita, some stuff. It's, it's so. Bantus, come on. Come on, Anita. What? <laughs> What's a Bantu? What is that? <laughs> I, you don't know what you're talking like about. You we a couple of yeah. black folk. Up in here, <laughs> discussing Double some niggas. stuff. Super upper punch. Uh, the 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 school, because there's been times where we've had, you know, where it could just run itself. Yeah. Like, mm. if, like at the dojo. Yeah. Shout out to Gabe. Shout um, out to Gabe, man. The dojo is just like a place where we've had three events, so it kind of like runs on its own. Mm -hmm. People kind of know like the format. Where it's like I could be a little bit more relaxed and Yeah, that's true too. I mean there's there's been events where I rolled like an hour straight. Like church good. church street it was just like it was nonstop. <laughs> back and forth, back and forth, back and forth, you know. But well, it was great though. I mean part of that probably has to do with the fact that they weren't equipped to do that as far as like we have no idea about jujitsu. We're a boxing gym <laughs> and <laughs> they've the done some jujitsu there. Yeah, I mean, yeah, yeah. They definitely have had like a couple of, like classes and seminars. You know, and stuff, honestly, but... it's it's more about who sh who shows up. Oh, okay. Okay. it's more it's more about if we get a lot of new people, they might not know what's going on. But if we have a bunch of our regulars, got right. it. Let's be real sports. If Phil if Philadelphia, if, oh, let me play this. Philadelphia for the most part got a lot better with one guy. Because to me, Jimmy Puller is a piece you could fit in there right away and say, yo, go out there and get me 20, get me five, get me five. You know? He go out there and do it for you right away. And then you add Embiid in there. Then you add Simmons. It's a great mix. And it's good for the city, too. Because they're blue-collar people. And, and, and his blue-collar attitude will just fit. That place is going to be jumping in Philadelphia. When they start to get it really rolling and really start to get it together, they're really going to be... They're really going to do something big. I don't know if they're going to beat, I would per se, uh, to say like Toronto, but I think they could give Boston now a run for their money. If they had, if to me, if they had Jimmy Butler last year, they could have went to the Eastern Conference Finals. I believe so. But this year now, for me, I think the Defended Podcast, the really good hallway fight scene. Oh, I did like that. I like that fight scene. It actually trumps the first one from season one. So it was a dope fight scene. Um, and we got to see Poindexter flex. You know? Oh, was he in the fight scene? He was in the last episode where he, he, he donned the suit, finally. He finally flipped. Um, Fisk, uh, something that I think, who predicted that? Was it you, Terrence, or was it you, Candace, that... Fisk was like controlling everything with behind the scenes no, the whole yeah, time. Yeah, I definitely said well, that. Definitely said yeah, that shank was his shank. It was. His design or whatever. Yeah. yeah. 
Oh, can we talk about? No, no, no. I definitely say he's borrowed the Misty's This Is My Design vision. Oh, yeah, yeah. Mm -hmm. He does a few of those. He sits with the Point Dexter's uh, psychology tapes because mm -hmm. he had a shrink. And you see him transposing himself in the room during the session, watching young Point Dexter and the wow. therapist. And I'm like, bro, we can't get this. Misty couldn't do this in Iron Fist. Pondering Nerdcast. <laughs> Why? But, I mean, that's I mean, just me. Like, I'm just like, If you don't Why? put it in the game, then it doesn't really matter i mean no sure that's the, what i'm saying sure to them the it's like why you want to like, do that like sure the users might be like oh man i wish i could do this right but if because the, that's what some people the company do. didn't do it and they were like well we're just not gonna put it in it regardless yeah. yeah then nothing like you know this wouldn't be a really big issue it would just be like oh uh, okay okay that's what some people do they like they try uh, they, they call it breaking the game like they just try to do certain things like you know they cannot really supposed to do it like 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 he, like with the NPC, they'll just try to say, "Hey, let me see what happens if like, I punch this woman or punch this guy or kick this dog or cat." You know, they just want to try these things and to see if how far they, they mm -hmm. could go in the games. And if they see they can't go that far, they'll you know some people will just be like, "Oh well, I guess I can't do it." Then some people make a video and be like, "Why can I do this? Like, if I, I could do this in real life, why can't I do it in the game?" You know, well, some, I pe mean, some people look at it like that and they're like, the "And hell? I would be like, look, well, go out and <laughs> do it in real life and see what happens." Be sure to head over to giftedsounds.com and try a podcast today.